What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? So I turned on the news um, yesterday around like 9, 10 o'clock and I turned on ABC. And of course on ABC, um, not trying to single out ABC, but there was a person, a politician, talking about video game violence and talking about violence in movies, okay? And he was saying that we should tone it down a little bit so we kind of have less crazy people walking around killing people. And that pissed me off so much. You know, people that play video games are not violent people. You might find a couple, just like you might find a couple people that are just crazy everywhere. There's always going to be crazy people. And sometimes those crazy people play video games. Or sometimes those crazy people watch the media 24-7 and see how much attention this person's getting and they want to do it, okay? There's going to be crazy, evil people everywhere. It's a fact, okay? Look at Hitler. Just go back 50 years. Go back 20 years. There's going to be evil people, okay? And I love it when they say we need to tone down the violence because it's causing, you know, it's causing a record number of crimes, okay? Or murders or stuff like that. If you go and you look at this graph, I'm going to link in the description. It shows that the total crimes in about 1992 to like 2006, they go down. They don't go up. And that's really when the gaming industry took off. Um, it's taking off a ton right now. And you can see in the graph that it's very low right now. It's going up and then it's going down. It's going up, then it's going down. So to say all of a sudden we introduced video games and then everyone was just a crazy lunatic and they just wanted to kill everybody, it's completely false. There's been studies that prove that if you take an aggressive person normally like a child or you know a bully and you give them video games they actually calm down and it helps them to be less aggressive okay you know video games for me are just an escape they help me relax they're fun to play i know the difference and i'm sure everybody that watches this video knows the difference between video games and real life sometimes you might have to tell your kid hey this is the difference you know this is real life this is not real life my mom didn't have to do that for me. I knew, you know, I was seven, eight years old when I started playing video games. I just knew. I knew I would never do that to somebody. And I'm sure just about 99.999% of gamers know that. But what the media likes to do is they like to, you know, single out one thing. During this report, they were reading off Facebook and talking about how people were complaining about the media and how like they're treating this incident. And as soon as they're done reading the nasty comments, they said, yeah, well, you should look at video games and movies. How about we look at the media? <laughs> they reported so much misinformation and they're just glorifying this person in a way. They're just making him way too big, way too big. They first reported that it was his brother and then they reported that someone let him in the school and then they reported that um, just outrageous stuff. And that we know now isn't true. They tried to get interviews with the kids that were in the school, you know, right after it happened. It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. <sighs> so that's it for this video. Um, just a little rant. I'm sick of the media. I'm sick of everything, to be honest. They really don't take into account um, this person is crazy. That should be like priority number one. Okay, whoever does this is crazy evil. They don't take into account the medication that this person might be on or how depressed this person is. You know, he might have played Mass Effect 3 and that's what caused the violence. It's so so sad that the media, you know, so the first reaction is video games. And I just can't watch the news. It, it makes me sick. After I heard about the story once, I was like, okay, I know what happened. I don't need any more information. I'm done. It's sad. It's very very sad. But I don't want the media just talking about it for hours and hours and weeks and weeks. That's it, guys. Um, peace.